Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So today I'm going to be trying a recipe I've never tried before. This is from sweetestmenu.com. These are going to be peanut butter M&M cookie bars. Now the recipe says to grease a 8x8 pan, but uh, it's the holidays and I really want to use my tree pan. So we're doing an experiment here and hoping this is going to turn out. It also says to line it with parchment paper, but I just greased it really good, so I'm hoping that that's going to work just fine. Fingers crossed. Anyway, we've already done that, and the oven is heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, in a bowl, you're going to want to have your dry, com uh, dry ingredients ready. We've got 175 grams of all-purpose flour as well as a half teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You don't have to start to combine because we're going to be sifting it into our mixture that we're about to make here in a second. Here in our electric mixing bowl thing, we've got one stick of butter, so you know that's half a cup. To that, I'm going to be adding one cup of light brown sugar. We're going to get those mixing together. All right, now that I've got this, it, again, I went longer than what we showed on camera, but it's nice and fluffy in there, light and fluffy. To this, we're going to be adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. and one half cup of creamy peanut butter. Let's use my beater to kind of scrape that off. Once you've got that mixed in, the next thing to do is to add in one egg, large egg, I guess I should say. I, I went ahead and put the dry mixture into the sifter. We're going to be sifting that in, and you can see that I moved my uh, paddle out of the way because uh, this is not going to work. We don't have nearly enough room to go sifting a mixture into here if we don't. But that's not a problem because right afterwards we can right afterwards we can reattach it, and then we can get that mixing up. Now that the mixture is ready like this, we're going to be putting in a half cup of chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips, I should say. And it says three quarters cup of M&Ms. Uh, I don't have regular size M&Ms, I just have the uh, minis on hand, so we're going to hope that that works. So those you would want to mix in by hand, not with your mixture mixer, because that would basically destroy them.
can tell you this smells really good. Really, really good, actually. All right, that looks pretty well mixed. So once you've got it well mixed, you're gonna wanna press it into your prepared baking pan. We're gonna try for this anyway. <laughs> So now that I've got this pressed in here, we're going to be transferring it to the oven. It says 28 to 30 minutes uh, or until golden brown. I'm going to be monitoring it since I'm using a different shape of pan and I'll let you know how that goes in case you choose to use a pan like this. Okay, so here we are at final plating. And as you can see, we succeeded on this. The tree came out of the mold without a problem. So the parchment was not necessary. And uh, the, I, I decided to decorate it because, you know, it's a holiday. So I made some frosting. This is just my own recipe. I don't have a set recipe for this frosting. It's just kind of like buttercream. So you could use any of your favorite frostings to do this. Um, or you can just leave without the frosting. I'm sure it tastes great anyway. Uh, we have not tried it yet. As you can see, it's still intact, but we're about to, and we'll let you know how it is. But thank you for once again, joining me for another episode of Cuisine de Michel. Please, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again for all of our recent subscribers. Please keep them coming. We love it. And make sure to comment as well and let us know what you think about everything here. And we'll see you next time. Au revoir.